Hey, it's Mike with Green Glides. Out in the corporate headquarters, I just got delivery of some nifty new uh, gadgets from Westpac. One of them is this single jet, you can see the jet in there, edging grout blaster type tool that in, uh, I'm going to say 30 seconds, you can swap this on to your hard surface wand, 12 inch or 14 inch, for getting, obviously, in the corners, around toilets, or just blasting the heck out of a single grout line, if that's your thing. So I'll be giving that a try next week on a couple of projects. Uh, I've been developing some mods for their line of stair wands, putting the extender benders on so that the jet hits right back here. You may have saw that video. And these work just killer. And possibly today I'll be getting some new glides that uh, allow you to get closer into the wall or the riser of the step in the front will look very much like that. This one's backwards. This is actually off a Steamway wand, but it's going to look very similar to that so that you can get into that, you know, that elbow or the whatever you want to call it, the, the nook of the stair. And I'm also developing the same premise for some glides for our most popular wands that, again, allow you to get into the stairwell. So I ordered uh, some extra wands to play with. We'll start with this 40 inch swivel stair wand. And you, you know, the purpose of having a swivel on a stair wand isn't so much to flip it upside down to do the, to do the riser, like our good friend, uh, Aaron Sager does. But to me, it's to be able to stand in the center of the staircase and clean those corners against the wall without having to move over to either way to do that i can stay centered and twist in and i believe that's going to do that i tested that on a wall uh, i got this nifty little uh whatever that is 18 inch straight shooter that would be good for oh i don't know partitions church pews large format upholstery mobile homes motor homes boats uh, homes with uh, attics where you can't stand up. Just kind of a cool detail. It's got a little bend to it. Again, all of these will benefit from those extender benders and the flat face glide. So that's a pretty cool tool to have hanging around. And then a big old straight shotter. Uh, they call it a stair wand. It can be used for a number of things, as just mentioned. Or if you're just a little wee fella that uh, can't find a, a good wand for you. <laughs> Maybe that would work. That's another one of the uh, one I just showed you here. So anyhow, I'll have those new glides in soon. And I'll be, after I test all these in a week or so, within the next week, I'll be selling them all at a hefty discount, fully equipped with the benders and the glide and ready to go. And just so you can see, it really does bend. And this is a nifty little item that took, um, geez, a whole lot of time to get perfected. And yeah, you can buy something that looks just like this for 37 cents at the hardware store. But it ain't the right length. It ain't the right bend. And yeah, these are pricey. But boy, they make all the difference in the world. Because you're no longer spraying back here. You're spraying right on the edge. And that's what keeps all these AW29 look-alike wands from soaking the carpet. When these sprays spray down, you better not go over 300 PSI because all you're doing is penetrating the, to the back of the carpet and or deeper. When it's at an angle, like every other wand in this series, that's where the magic happens, especially on a stair wand. Let's pretend that's a stair. You're going back, and at this point right here, what are you doing? You're spraying the, the tread down below or the riser. But now you can clean all the way to the edge, roll it over the bullnose, and the spray your fluid gets extracted up. So it's just a, a killer little idea to convert all these borderline worthless wands into something more than usable that perform as well as any other wand out there with just this, or two of these simple little niggity knacks. Uh, they work with a lot of wands. You just got to make sure that this section right here, from what I call the pod, 
to the jet doesn't have a piece of threaded uh, stainless steel pipe there where this part just threads onto it. If it's fixed in there, my little benders won't work. But if it's brass and it comes out, perfecto. Even if these, these wands come uh, set up with a V-jet, as you can see, and then I convert them over to the T-jet by adding the proper jet and the caps. So I guess I've bored you enough with wand babble, but uh, if you're interested in any of these wands, give me a call. I'll put you on the list, and I'll have them up on the site very soon. And you guys that have the, the world's greatest hard surface wand, you may be very interested in this. I just can't speak to its effectiveness yet, but I will be testing that very much so next week. All right, over now.